Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back to another Sheetify tutorial. Today's focus is to show you how you can use our Sheetify bookkeeping toolkit to generate invoices and quotes. This is a powerful feature that allows you to simply add your clients details using Google Forms, Google Sheets and Google Docs to generate invoices in just a few clicks. And a recent update that we added to the invoice and quote generator is the ability to quickly duplicate quote or invoice data from a previous invoice, allowing you to change just a few things on your invoice or quote, like the invoice number and the services or products. Then you can quickly generate that invoice rather than repeating and adding all your invoice or quote data every time for all your different customers. And I'll show you how you can do that in this tutorial. Now, if you're completely new to our Sheetify bookkeeping toolkit, I will add a full tutorial down below in the description to help you get up and running with all the tools and features that our Sheetify bookkeeping toolkit has to offer. Also, if you're interested in our Sheetify CRM or project management toolkits, I will also add relevant information about those toolkits down below in the description. Okay, so with that covered, let's dive into the quote and invoice generator. Once you've created a copy of your Sheetify bookkeeping toolkit and you've navigated up to Sheetify and you've set up Sheetify bookkeeping by setting up the authorization, then we can start generating quotes and invoices. Also, you may want to take some time within setup to add your correct currency, as well as income and expense categories. And we cover this in other tutorials. Today, we're just focusing on the invoice and quote generator. Okay, so no matter what tab you're on, to set up the quote and invoice generator, simply navigate up to Sheetify, then locate invoices, set up Sheetify invoicing. Give Sheetify Bookkeeping a moment to set up your invoice generator. And that's gonna take you inside your setup. If we navigate over to the far right hand side, you'll see your invoice settings here. Let's go ahead and do the same with quotes. We need to go ahead and set up the quote generator by clicking on set up Sheetify quoting. Again, give Sheetify Bookkeeping a moment to set this up. And now we quickly need to do one more thing for quote settings as well as invoice settings to start being able to generate invoices and quotes. You'll notice we have quotes and invoices set up here. All your generated quote data will end up here and invoices here. Now what we wanna do is head over to the Google Drive folder that you have access to where you found the Sheetify Bookkeeping Toolkit. And when you set up Sheetify Bookkeeping, you needed to create your own copy. What you want to do is do the same with this Sheetify Invoice Template as well as the Sheetify Quote Template. Simply click here and make a copy and add that to a folder in your drive. Then once you've done that, go ahead and open up the Sheetify Invoice Template first. And before we start generating our invoices and quotes, we want to make a few changes to this invoice template as well as the quote template. And both these templates are similar. To set up your template, what you wanna do is add your business name, add your business address, and website. You can also play around with the formatting options up here if you like. Then simply navigate down the page and add your payment details as well as terms and conditions and these details will be the same on every invoice. That's why it's important to take the time to set up your invoice and quote template correctly. And that's all we need to do. Then simply navigate up to the URL, then inside the template URL, next to this double dash D, we want to copy this code here, this snippet, all the way to this forward slash here. So all this content in front of the forward slash here and the last forward slash here. Go ahead and copy this and then navigate back to your Sheetify bookkeeping toolkit. And just like that, your invoice generator has been set up. If we navigate down to invoice folder URL, this is where you can locate your generated invoices. So once you've generated an invoice, click here, and that's gonna take you to all your invoices inside your drive. Okay, let's click out of that. And then under invoice form link, this is the form link that you can open to fill out the invoice details in order to generate the invoice. And you do not have to do this manually every time. You can also duplicate your invoices and change a few invoice details before generating that invoice again. And this will save you time when creating similar invoices in the future. And I'll show you how to do this shortly. Okay, let's navigate down to quote settings. Here you just want to do the exact same thing. Open up the quote template and copy and paste the URL snippet in here. I'm going to quickly do that now. And just like that, your invoice generator and quote generator has been set up. Let's go ahead and generate an invoice by clicking here. And that's gonna open up the new invoice form. And you can customize the design of this form. Please add your customer's invoice details below. Add the invoice number, then the invoice date, then add the invoice due date, that's a month from now, then navigate down and add the client's first name, last name. Here you can add the client or customer's company name if they have one, then the business address or customer's address, as well as phone number, the customer's email. Then we can navigate down here and add a discount. Here we want to add a number or leave it empty to add no discount. 
For example, if I add 50, that's a $50 discount. If we navigate down to tax, here we have the option to enter a tax between zero and 100% or leave it empty to add no tax. We're going to add a 15% tax. Then down here we can add units. These are invoice items. For example, maybe I run a media agency. So we're building a website for this client as well as managing their ads. I'm going to add the first item, web design service as well as a description, 10 page website redesign, the price, $3,500. And then I'm going to add one more item, Google Ads Management, three months of ads management, and then the price, $1,250. Now we can add other line items if we like, then navigate down to the bottom and click on submit. And just like that, a new invoice has been generated. Let's head back to our Sheetify bookkeeping toolkit, then navigate down to invoices, and here we can see the new invoice entry that we just added. Now, if we navigate back over to setup and then locate the Google Drive invoice folder that I mentioned earlier, click here. Here we have the invoice that we generated. You can see the invoice details have been generated here as well as the billing to, the customer's details, as well as the two items we added to the invoice. And then down here we have the subtotal, discount and added tax. And all we need to do to download this invoice or share the invoice is navigate over to file, download, and you can download as a PDF document and then send that to your customer. Or you can navigate up to share and then navigate down to restricted, anyone with the link, and then click on copy link and you can share that link with the customer and they can view this invoice. If you're using our Sheetify CRM, which has email marketing capabilities, you can leverage that toolkit to quickly send an invoice or payment email to your clients. Let's click done and head back to our Sheetify bookkeeping toolkit. Hey, just quickly before you get back into this tutorial, if you're getting value from this video, please drop a like and subscribe. This means a lot to me and ultimately helps us reach and help more small business owners across YouTube. Thank you in advance and with that quick note, let's jump back into this video. And under quote settings, we can do the same with quotes. Simply navigate down to open up the form and generate the quote. Then you can find all your quotes inside this automatically generated Sheetify quotes folder. Now what we can do is navigate over to invoices or quotes and let's say we want to generate another invoice for a different client. However, most of the invoice details are going to be the same. We can quickly generate a new invoice by duplicating this invoice rather than generating an invoice from scratch. Just click anywhere along here, then navigate up to Sheetify, locate invoices or quotes. If you're on the quotes page and you want to generate another quote, then click on create new invoice with data. And that's gonna allow us to open up a pre-filled invoice. Click on okay. And as you can see on the last invoice, I actually got the date wrong. I'm going to change that to 2025 and this invoice number needs to change. Then down here for the new customer, the invoice date and the due date will remain the same. However, this is a new customer, so I'm going to change the name as well as last name and then the company details. I'll quickly change the company name, address, phone and email. Okay, so I've quickly done that. Then all the other details are the same. We're providing this different client with the same web design service as well as Google Ads Management. I can add other items if I like and then click on Submit. And as you can see, the invoice has been generated. Let's head back to our bookkeeping toolkit. And as you can see, that new invoice has been generated. So again, that is how you can quickly generate new invoices using existing invoice or quote data. Just click on the invoice or quote, navigate up to Sheetify, locate invoices or quotes, and then click on create new quote with data or create new invoice with data. It's as simple as that. This way you can efficiently create new invoices and quotes without manually adding the same details over and over again. Again, let's locate the new invoice that I just generated, locate the invoice folder, open it up, and you can see the new invoice here. However, that is it for this tutorial showing you how you can generate invoices and quotes inside our Sheetify bookkeeping toolkit. Again, if you wanna learn more about all the tools and features that our Sheetify bookkeeping toolkit has to offer, I will add all the relevant details down below in the description. If you got value from this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care.